Hi, I'm Al. This is a video. Hello everyone! Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. How's it going? Today we're doing a video that I genuinely thought I was never going to make because as you guys know, I'm generally very pessimistic about new really hard levels getting rated because Wrapped Up does have a tendency to just not rate them or they go very, very long without getting rated. However, yesterday, I don't know how it happened. Things have been so fast recently. Everything has been happening over the past week. But yesterday, Trick finally verified Firework after being in the works for ages. As you guys remember, back in January, I did a video on Firework where I went through it, I tried it while Caribbean was verifying it, passed on over to Trick, and to yesterday, or last night, after 230,000 attempts, Trick has verified Firework. And as a result of Firework getting verified, we had the harshest rate wave in Geometry Dash history. And what I want to do today is discuss the implications as well as a couple concerns and my thoughts and opinions on the whole ordeal because then we go here to demons and awarded Arcturus, Slaughterhouse, and Firework were rated back to back and oh my god <laughs> oh boy <laughs> where do we even begin first and foremost i want to give a huge shout out to trick for verifying firework ultra kawa for verifying arcturus and space uk for verifying slaughterhouse all incredibly incredibly talented players they deserve so so much respect for their accomplishments so please do go check them out their channels will be linked in the description of this video check them out give some support to their verification videos because all of these are very very impressive achievements so what i want to discuss today this isn't primarily going to be a discussion video for anyone wondering. I want to discuss what I think about all of this. Discuss a theory because I was uh, in Speedy Muffin stream and he was talking about his theory about why Slaughterhouse and Archers was not rated until now. And we're just going to talk a little bit about a couple of things. Now, because this is a discussion video, I do want to give my warning right here. I do want to tell you guys that please, if you're going to be discussing placements, predictions, or whatever in the comments of this video, please be civil about it. I do not want people to get into arguments. I do want to want people to be so brutal towards each other because in the name of top one verifications and top one extreme demons, people tend to be very, very aggressive towards each other and I do not want that. I want people to be civil about it. I'm going to be having a civil discussion and I'm going to be giving my final thoughts and opinions on the three levels as a whole. Whoa, before we start theorizing here real quick, subscribe to the channel if you're happy that these rail levels got rated. I would really appreciate it. I know a lot of people are super happy about it, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Anyway. Let's start theorizing. First and foremost, let's hop into the theory that I was presented with, with this uh, verification. Speedy Muffin had a prediction about as of why Slaughterhouse and Archers were not rated and why they are now rated after the fact that Firework was rated. So the general consensus and what people are believing is that Firework is the most likely level to place top one. Reason being that it is not so heavily based around one singular game mode or two singular game modes in the sense of Slaughterhouse and Archers being primarily ship and wave, but uh, while Firework is a little bit of everything, it has a little bit of all, it has a lot of really hard cube, it has a lot of hard spider, a little bit of everything. Firework is a more all-around, well-rounded level over something like Slaughterhouse and Arcturus. I'm not here to discuss the difficulty of the levels, I frankly do not know, I haven't beaten anything hard enough to actually know where they should place. I'm not going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on what I believe is going to be the right placement, because genuinely speaking, I have no clue, no idea, I'm not good enough to gauge that whatsoever. The theory goes as follows, the reason why Robtop did not rate Slaughterhouse or Arcturus is because he is very well fully aware of the fact that the demons list is a very large thing in the community. He is very well aware of the fact that the Jumja Dash demon list on Pointer Crate heavily increases popularity of levels and heavily increases flow of levels into the game. Because I, for one, I discover a lot of games that I really like through something like speedrunning, which is high level play, right? Naturally, a lot of people are going to catch interest with GD because of high level play. So seeing levels on the top of the demons list is advertisement for Jumja Dash as a whole. However, both Slaughterhouse and Archers have a not on you ground song, meaning that if you're a brand new person, you will not have direct access to these songs, meaning that you'll have to go out of your way to use external methods to get the song. Robtop does not want that. He wanted a level with a song that you can get directly from Newgrounds as the number one demon because he's very well aware of the fact that it is negatively affecting the game in some way or another, having a an external song be used as the number one. And because of the fact that the general consensus is that Firework is the harder one, and classical is on new grounds. He waited for firework to be verified to rate Slaughterhouse and Arcturus so that a number one demon would not have a not on new ground song. Quickly before we move on, I do know that you guys are gonna say, but Aeon, 
new players aren't going to be playing in the top one demon anyway. Well, tell me, how many of you guys have ever tried out a level so far out of your skill range because you thought it was cool or you thought it was interesting and you wanted to see how hard it was? Probably most of you guys are going to say yes. So, yes, this is an important fact, even though you think it's unrealistic that new players will try the hardest levels in the game. I think this is a reasonable theory, personally. You guys can tell me what you guys think. I think that is completely reasonable. I think it's a decent theory overall. I can see the reasoning behind it, and I can kind of understand it. And I, to some disagree, I do actually agree with it. Whether or not it's real, I can't confirm nor deny. There's literally no way for me to know for fact. Uh, but I think it stands somewhat of a reason. Now, does that mean Firework will place number one? No, we don't know yet. We're gonna have to wait a month. This is gonna be a really, really rough time for the GD community because people are so insanely passionate about their favorite top one demons. Oh my God, people are so passionate about it. It's actually ridiculous. Like I've seen people straight up get attacked for saying, I don't think this level is top one or I don't think this level is harder than that level. I've seen people straight up get threats about it. Please. This is, this is me using my voice as a la rather large community figure to say, if you see someone you do not agree with saying something about your favorite top one, please do not be rude or be aggressive towards them. If you think Slaughterhouse is top one, and then someone says, I don't think Slaughterhouse is top one, I think Slaughterhouse is gonna place number three, or number four, or number two. Don't be aggressive towards them, don't be mean in any way, shape, or form. It's, after all, it's just an opinion. The Demons list is an amalgamation of the best players' opinions about levels and where they they think they place in relation to other levels. The reason why Sonic Wayne Infinity didn't place above Tartarus when it was initially released, even though everyone and their mother thought it was going to be, is because the best players in the world who had beaten Tartarus and was trying to beat Sonic Wayne Infinity or beat Sonic Wayne Infinity said it was easier. It's like an average. I know some top players who says Arcturus is not top one. The only victor currently of Arcturus, Paco, says Arcturus isn't even top five. Who knows if it's gonna place top five? Who knows if it's gonna place top one? Maybe Arcturus is gonna be like below Zodiac. Nobody really knows. So please just, if you're going to be discussing this kind of stuff, be civil about it. Don't be rude. Try and maintain some form of integrity while you're doing it because I know for a fact that I, for one, I get like a really weird taste in my mouth when I see people get like really aggressive towards it. Because in the end, in the end, you can't really gauge a level's difficulty based on just looking at it and you can't really gauge the difficulty of a level through just a couple practice runs. I usually say where I think like how roughly hard I think it is based on my practice runs and based on those I did say that I initially thought that Slaughterhouse could potentially be the hardest one but then again that's just my skill set I'm not very good at wave and I had a really hard time with Slaughterhouse because it's fast really tight wave but a lot of the other top players are really good at wave I know for a fact that Wolves uh the current number four I think on the demons list as viewer so the fourth best player in the world based on raw sheer numbers says he thinks true effect is harder than Slaughterhouse I'm not a good gauge for it and I've beaten 26 listing if someone like me cannot gauge properly how hard a level is based on trying it out and seeing how I feel about the gameplay, then if you're not able to beat the levels or make significant progress on the levels, just accept the fact that the, your favorite level might not be the hardest. That's just kind of how it is. So I am somewhat worried in a sense that the, the community is going to go up in flames for a little bit about this whole situation. Because in a sense, it's like, yeah, it, it makes sense that stuff like this happens. I feel like the raw prop just straight up trolled. While I do think that the theory that Speedy Muffin presented earlier uh, to me was a reasonable thing overall, I also think Rob Top just kind of wanted to do a Rob Top. We all know Rob Top. We all know that he's a massive troll at times. Him straight up just dropping all three of the currently verified potential top ones in one go, just rating them all. Absolutely hilarious. From a person's perspective like myself, who doesn't really care too much about the demons list, I just care about beating the level that I like. I think this is absolutely hilarious. I think it's really funny and I can't wait to uh, grab my popcorn look at Twitter and see people go into shit for this but it's intriguing though it's very intriguing I want to hear what you guys have to think I've given my thoughts and opinions on the whole idea I've given my thoughts and opinions on why things got rated the way they were and I've given my direct thought on how it should be discussed please don't be aggressive I would really appreciate it but now I want to go over and give my like final thoughts and opinions on the level this is gonna be the segment where I just play a video of the levels playing in the background and I'm just gonna talk about about them and you guys are gonna be like hey aeon's opinions doesn't really matter who cares aeon's opinions suck anyway he likes base cave he has no right to talk so i'm gonna be talking about it i'm not gonna really talk about the gameplay uh, i will talk about how the gameplay looks from a visual perspective and what i think about it and i'm gonna mostly talk about the visuals and kind of in 
intrigue they give me. Because I do think all the three levels are intriguing in their own right. Though, I don't necessarily think they are the best levels of all time. I do think they have some merit of being good levels overall. They're decent levels for the most part. Uh, let's grab some YouTube videos and watch it, I suppose. So just as a reminder, by the way, when I'm recording this, and by the time this video is released, the top one verification of Firework has not yet actually premiered. I will, won't be able to actually showcase the verification video. I'll have to find a showcase, but that's beside the point. Anyway, that I just wanted to give that a little discretion here. Anyway, let's start off with Arcturus. Arcturus to me is an intriguing level. It, it, it has a lot of like, it has some charm to it. While I don't really like the whole like health theme, I find it funny as hell, by the way, how the top four is gonna have like three health levels. But uh, Arcturus to me is one of the lesser interesting ones. I think it's the least interesting of the three personally, because it is straight up just two wave challenges, a ship challenge and a hard cube to begin with. It's a really short level. It doesn't really capture much. I think the song is cool. I'm like one of four people I know that actually likes the song. I think the song is pretty cool to listen to. But the level itself, it's okay. I think it's an okay level. I don't think the visuals are spectacular. I think the gameplay is uninspired for the most part. It's just one of those, oh, it's an old impossible level that was made possible and now it's verified and rated now. But overall, the level is just, it's just okay. I find it kind of forgettable. That might just be a me thing. Uh, tell me what you think about Arcturus. I think Arcturus is fine. There's nothing special. There's nothing spectacular. It's just a fine level. So yeah, that's my thoughts of, on Arcturus, I, I guess. Okay, so next up is Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse intrigues me a lot more in a lot of ways. So the thing I actually kind of like about Slaughterhouse is the fact that it just... I don't know, I like the beginning. I think the beginning of it is really cool. It gives you like this weird, ominous, looming feeling towards all of it. I think it's overall just not that bad. I kind of like the beginning. My issue with it comes from the fact that it's just... Oh my god, the waves. I think it just feels incredibly unbalanced in a sense because everyone and their mother seems to think that the ships aren't that bad and then the, the waves just add like all of the difficulty pretty much. Which is fair to say. I was able to pass all the ship parts. I didn't really have too much trouble with them. It's just god the waves. And I think the unbalanced nature of it in terms of like skill set somewhat ruins it not like entirely obviously it doesn't break the level or anywhere in any way shape or form it's just when a level is that severely unbalanced in terms of how what is hard and what isn't hard it just loses a lot of the charm for me so while i think slaughterhouse overall is cool and it has a lot of neat concepts has a lot of really cool click patterns i think it kind of just falls short in that sense so while i think it's intense it's an intense level it's a very intense level in every way shape or form i just personally think it kind of falls flat because of the fact that it's just a wave challenge with some added gameplay pretty much over to firework now this is what i actually think is really 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 neat in a sense while i'm not a huge fan of firework i don't really like the grayscale and i think a lot of the decoration is just not the best i don't really feel it visually i think Firework has a lot of really cool ideas. And what I mean by that is that it has some really cool gameplay concepts, which is why I actually kind of like it as a top one. While I don't necessarily like it as a level, I think Firework has some really cool gameplay concepts with the waves like this one, the ship, the infamous ship part is really cool. A lot of the duels are sick and a lot of the, the orb gameplay is like really, really neat. So while I think the level itself is visually uninteresting, it's really cool to look at. And that's one of the things that I really appreciate about it. It looks insane to play. And I really appreciate it for that. So while I, th I'm repeating myself at this point, while I think it's not an interesting level visually because of the grayscale and all that stuff, this level has a lot going for it in all honesty. And I kind of want to see it a top one just for that because of the fact that you can tell that they actually had inspiration for the gameplay. There was inspiration had for the gameplay, and it's just not a really hard wave or ship challenge. Which I think, personally, is really cool. A lot of the difficulty this seems to come from the fact that the timings are just ridiculous. And I think it's super cool to finally get a top one again that's not heavily reliant on ship or wave. Because it's been a goddamn long time since we've had that. I think the last one that was not like fully reliant on ship or wave pretty much was Zodiac. Uh, which is a while ago, let's put it that way. But no, I think Firework 
as a whole actually has some stuff going for it. I don't think it's bad. I It's grown on me a lot with time. I thought initially that it wasn't interesting like whatsoever, but with time, it has really grown on me, honestly. I think it's not bad. And it's really cool to see it verify honestly. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It, I know it's just another discussion video. I like doing discussion videos, and I hope you guys enjoy listening to what I have to say as well. I hope I gave you guys some new perspective on stuff, and I hope I gave you guys a little bit of insight, and please don't hound me for my opinions. Uh, they are opinions after all. My opinions are not fact, and my opinions are not the ultimate opinion. My opinions might even change with time. As I said, firework is a level that has grown on me because I tried it literally like almost a year ago at this point. And with time, it has become a level that I appreciate a lot more. Arcturus and Slaughterhouse very well might be the same case. I'm not a huge fan of them right now, but they're also very, very fresh out the oven. So my opinion is very much subject to change. So keep that in mind as time goes by. Whatever your favorite level is, doesn't matter. Appreciate the fact that it is rated. Don't care about the list placements that it gets. And just be happy that the level that was put so much time and effort into by Ultra Kawa, by Space, and by Trick have finally been rated. Either way, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Like the video, leave a comment telling me which one is your favorite, and give my thought, give your thoughts and opinions on everything that has happened. I would really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for making my day better. Hope my day is a little bit better too. Eat your greens, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.